Well, if you like an old-time football feel, this is the place for you. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace up against Watford. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the Palace 11. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the starting 11 for Watford. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. Thank you for attending Sellers Park. Enjoy the match. And the game begins. Here's Weber. Gardner. And it's Dennis. Well, this is interesting. I believe changing circumstances in the Arsenal game. Alex Scott. It's a goal for Leeds. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space. And it was a beautiful headed finish. They've scored the opener here with five minutes on the clock. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. And he stopped them in their tracks. So for Watford, you have to say it was a good performance and result in the last match against Leicester City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, in a very tight game, they certainly deserve their victory. Today, we'll follow a similar path. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Not the best clearance. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say, their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. It's a good Palace move in the making. take the lead here oh but he's missed it how on earth is this still level well I just don't know Derek just a real lack of composure in the end they should be ahead now Andrade with it Foden now oh, they've given him too much space oh big chance and a goal pushing for it and now they've been rewarded well let's see this again the vision to play this through ball is superb and then from there the keeper has little chance two on one left completely exposed and it made for a simple finish in the end and the action underway again the onus very much on Palace to find a response now going well well it came to nothing in the end Schultz Ryan good looking sequence this good idea Two goals in 
quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the perfect finish from Foden. Great technique. There's no stopping that. Nico Gonzalez. Ezzi. Zegrova has it. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, Watford have certainly tried to control the flow of the game, as those stats confirm, and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch, and I don't think anything's going to change that. And Schultz now. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. An important interception. Keane. Moise Keane. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Well, let's send it over now to Alex Scott because she has a goal to tell us about in the Spurs game. Alex. It's a goal for Brentford. The shot was ferocious and it went in off the woodwork. Oh, jumping in. They're in a great position here. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, I love this finish. No messing about. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. That's a good goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the referee blows the whistle, bringing to an end the first half here at Selhurst Park. Well, Phil Foden having a great game out there, and he's been a real handful for those defenders. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals, what a good performance. And he's not finished just yet. Well, back underway, and there can be no playing it down. A big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Crystal Palace in the second? And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. They've pulled one back with 47 minutes played. I'm really enjoying this one, Derek. Thanks, as always, to Alex Scott. Now, who can he play it to? A fine reading of the situation. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Crystal Palace facing Southampton. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Gardner. Weber Ryan Foden it should be oh off the post still alive well no damage done being pressed and pressed high and a goal has gone in at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Here's Alex Scott with the details. It's a goal for Spurs. Nice build-up play, and when the space opened up, boy, did he take it well. It's all level again at 2-2 with 61 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Watford sloppy in possession here. Now well, the referee allowing the play to flow. And Palace could get in behind the defence. Well, it came to nothing in the end. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Really annoying for them. Couldn't take advantage. Schultz. 
Harry Clark. Plenty of space for the Crystal Palace attack. Running with the ball confidently. Has a go! And a fine stop. So making the substitution now. And over comes the corner. And a simple clearance, a good one. Now the counter-attack looks on. And someone has found the net in the Arsenal match. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It was a low-driven cross into a crowded area, but he was there from close range to finish Sorry, that. Alex, could be a goal here. And fine goalkeeping. Just ten minutes remaining here. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And a throw-in here for Watford. And the substitution will occur now. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. To clarify, Arsenal have scored in that game. And they're on top currently, 3-1. Joao Pedro. Foden. Opportunity. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Now, who can he play it to? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And back to Ledesma. And there goes the final whistle. All is well in the Watford camp. They get the victory and take maximum points. How would you sum it up? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. They've given him too much space. Oh, big chance. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded.